Here we are with the point guard for the Bendigo Spirits, Ellie Wilson. Thanks for your time today. Thanks for having me. You're here at the WNBL launch uh, as a representative of your team. How's it feel to be singled out to be here among the elite today? Uh, look, it does. It feels pretty good and obviously I'm among some pretty good players, so yeah, it's a good feeling. Let's talk about Bendigo. First thing, I'll have to uh, get straight to it and say, what's happening with Christy Harawa? What is happening with Christy Harawa? That's the question on everyone's lips at the moment, and I can't really answer that for you right now. It'd be great to have her back, but I think we'll find out a bit later on this week whether Christy will be playing or not. Does your gut say that she will? My gut says that she will. That's me being hopeful, though. Very nice. And the WNBL also being very hopeful of that. Yes. Tell me, what else has been happening with the Bendigo team? What other changes have you made to the team? Uh, lots of new players. Um, hopefully going to get one back. Eleanor hiring through the injury probably about midway through the season. Um, still kept a few key players in Lauren King and Jasmine Finnegan. And hopefully just wanting to build on last year's effort at the end of the season. And have, uh, what players have you lost in the off-season? Uh, Dee Butler's moved on to Sydney, and we lost Hannah Zabek to Moline. So two key players there that we lost, but hopefully um, with the addition of an import, and fingers crossed, Christy Harawa will be OK. Do you know who that import is yet? Uh, yeah, she's a Canadian national squad uh, team member. Her name's Chelsea O'Brien. Uh, hopefully she'll add some height to our team, because we're struggling in that department at the moment. Oh, interesting, interesting. Now... Bendigo, big supporters of your team down there, the Bendigo Spirit. Uh, what have you been doing in the community, or does that get ramped up once you start the season? Um, I think Bendigo is a great place to play basketball, and um, the community really get behind us and support us, and um, we've got really good fans and followers, and it's great to have their support. You're not originally from Bendigo, though, are you? I'm not, but I am a country big kid. So I'm, gl I'm really glad to be back playing country Victorian basketball again. Where did you play your first basketball? I'm actually originated in Lean Gatha. I started playing for the Lean Gatha Lightning in under 12. So Gippsland kid. You got any affiliations with the Adelaide Lightning now? No, I don't have any affiliations <laughs> with Adelaide Lightning. You mentioned a few of the big teams there. Sydney Uni, Bulleen, Adelaide. Who is your prediction for um, the victor in 0 9 10? Sorry. At the moment, everyone's talking about Sydney. They've recruited so well. Obviously, we spoke to Nat before, and um, with Susie back and coming back into the league, I think that's great for the league. So I'm going to say Sydney, Canberra. I don't know. It's early on, so I guess they'll have to be asked again later on in the season. And Bendigo, what's your prediction? Well, hopefully we can build on last year's efforts and make the finals. Nice. Nice. Are you going to do anything different this year with Bendigo? Or have you got the same coach in Bernie Harrower? Are you going to change it up in any way? Are you going to reveal something? No, I think, I think you'd probably expect the same playing style from us. We're pretty small this year, so um, our aim is probably to see if we can run a, a bit more, run the floor, hopefully be good in transition. Um, we're not really tall, so that's probably our major goal this year. Your phone's taking a beating sorry, during this sorry. interview. <laughs> so, uh, tell me, you're looking in good shape. What have you been doing in the off-season? Um, I've had a stable season with the Bendigo Braves and it was really good. I had a, a really enjoyable year and just kind of worked on my game and it was a, a good season. What's, I'm getting hit from behind here. <laughs> sorry, lost my concentration. Tell me about uh, the difference between playing in the ABA or the ACC and the WNBL level. What's different between those two? Oh, look, I think there's, there's obviously a massive step between ABA and uh, WNBL. I think the main difference for me is the intensity of the game. And every week, not to say in ABA you don't against quality players, but just the depth in teams and basically the intensity of the game. Nice. Now, we're surrounded by kids now after our WNBL launch. Did you start playing basketball when you were a kid, or did you pick it up later? I actually started playing in under 12. I played netball before basketball, so I was a netball junior. Uh, that's okay. We'll wash your mouth out after uh, the interview. What position did you play in that game? In netball? Yeah. I was the goal attack. Oh, well. Yeah. At least you took a great position. position. The best position. Yeah, very nice. Well, surely the passing uh, and the moving around the court has helped you. And... Yeah, look, I didn't like being restricted in netball, so I think that's why when, as soon as I started playing basketball, I loved it. I loved the game and couldn't get enough of it. So, 
I feel the same way about netball. Uh, Kelly, it was absolutely lovely to have a bit of chat to you today. Good luck for the season. Thank you very much. Oh.